What has someone tried to convince you that it's the same thing, when it absolutely was not the same thing? Depression is not the same as being sad. I've given up trying to make people understand. If it didn't work the first 200 times it won't work on the 201st time so stop asking promising you'll understand. Explaining this to people is like trying to cheer up people with depression. Messy and dirty are the same. My room is messy because I put my dirty laundry next to the hamper and keep a stack of mail on my desk. Your room is dirty because there's weak old Chinese food and literal garbage all over the floor. I had an argument with an ex that sorry you feel that way and an apology are not the same thing. She could not say sorry. Every time it was sorry you feel that way. Sorry you feel that way is literally a non-apology. She gave you non-apologies. The nude figure in art is not the same as pornography. Seriously, I work in the education department of an art museum and the number of teachers parent school administrators I have to explain this to is astounding. No, you don't need to panic when your high school students may see a boob on a classical roman sculpture. Really. In my figure drawing class in college a kid got failed for the semester the second week in for asking the model for her number after the session. We also had a model get banned from campus for offering a student the chance to film pornography with him. But these are not really related, just neat stories I have. Pure alcohol and denatured alcohol. My friend and I wanted to make chocolate liqueur and needed to buy pure alcohol. I asked her where we could find it and she replied any supermarket has it because it is also used for cleaning. I had to explain my 24 year old friend that cleaning alcohol is purposely poisonous to avoid consumption and she didn't believe me until I quoted my sources. She kept insisting that there was no reason to pay more to buy it in a specialized store when it was basically the same thing. Let her do IT. Let IT cleanse. A friend from college once tried to explain that mice and rats were the same animal. The mice were just babies and everyone would eventually grow into an adult rat. No matter how many times I tried to tell her they were separate animals, she was having none of it. From college. Oh my freaking Christ. Back when I did tech support over the phone, I had a caller who needed help with an internet problem. It took 45 minutes of failing to solve the problem before she admitted that she was calling from her son's house and the problem was with a completely different computer at a completely different address. It took 20 more minutes to convince her that I can't fix her issue by working on someone else's PC. Dropped out. Kicked out. Same thing. No, it's not the same thing. One means you made the decision, the other means you fricked up and were told to leave. You would know that if you hadn't gotten kicked out of school in 10th grade. Exactly, I dropped out of my first high school and I got kicked out of my second. Huge difference. Goat milk does not taste the same as regular milk. Nice try mom. My mom was convinced that my dislike for any goat products was all in my head and that it all tastes just like regular milk. I was home visiting and she went so far as to dump out the regular milk and put goat milk in the container to trick me. I woke up, went to have coffee, and put what I thought was milk into my coffee, took one sip and spit it out. Thinking her milk had gone bad, I dumped it all down the drain and texted her about it. Fast forward to the next day and it happens again. This time I call her and tell her that I don't know what crappy store she's buying her milk at but that it was bad again so I dumped it out. That's when she fessed up to what she had done two days in a row. Jokes on her because that milk was coming from some upscale store and I dumped about $20 worth of goat milk down the drain two days in a row thinking it was spoiled cow's milk. I have had goat's milk that tastes exactly like cow's milk. I've had goat's milk that tastes exactly like a goat smells. Unfortunately, with the goats we had, the latter was much more common. And my highest rated comment by far is about goats. My mother-in-law was visiting and physically tried to stop me from opening a jar of mayonnaise in my own home because there was an open jar of Miracle Whip, which she had purchased for a recipe, in the fridge. She said they were the same. I said they were about the same color and that's where the similarities ended. For the record, I hate Miracle Whip. My parents have this argument all the time. Mother thinks they're the same. Father refuses to even get near Miracle Whip. He believes that it's a miracle they can even sell that crap. I definitely prefer mayonnaise. ADHD and bad behavior. Plenty of ADHD kids are well behaved and don't act up at school. 
Plenty of badly behaved kids don't have ADHD. Hollandaise sauce. My best friend in high school said her dad makes a mock hollandaise that's basically the same thing. It was French's mustard and cool whip. It wasn't until this year I had the real stuff and I'm no longer traumatized. Milk was spoiled a whole week ago on the expiration date. I told mother and grandmother. They told me to drink my glass and be grateful for the breakfast. I tried, gagged, and spit it out. We spent the next 10 minutes arguing about it and them trying to get me to drink it. Grandmother then went outside for 10 minutes and came back saying she got a new jug from the store. The expiration date was scratched off and the milk was diluted with water to look full. I then refused to drink milk altogether and was grounded for a couple weeks for wasting milk. I later saw her throwing it out after my grandfather complained about it. My best friend. No longer a friend. When my mother died and I was still sad about it later that year. That was January. It's like, August. We were still in high school. I lost my favorite bomber jacket at a bar. And you don't see me still crying about it. No be fair. She was bipolar. Still a teenager. And Clyde's was not a place to leave your favorite jacket over the back of your chair. I have a couple people in my life that are bipolar and wouldn't say crap like that in regard to that type of situation. That's just a garbage butt person that hasn't had life really hit them yet. This was in the very early 90s. Off brand cereal was, I'm not quite there yet but my grandma was adamant that whatever colorful circles that were half dollar size tasted exactly the same as Fruit Loops. She was wrong and I still can't fathom how she could think otherwise. She felt particularly smart one morning where she refilled our Fruit Loops box with those dang bright circles. It was too early to notice that these rings were way too big but the moment my sister and I put the first spoonful into our mouths we just spit it out. Her smile faded and she was upset at us being picky eaters. Nowadays, however, it seems the off brand is pretty dang close. Malto meal is superior to many name brands. Carob. My evil step monster tried to get me off chocolate and kept buying carob instead. Couldn't fool me. After the first taste, I wouldn't touch that crap. She finally asked me why I wasn't eating those yummy healthy carob bars. Because they taste like mud. Let me know when we get back to chocolate. You'll pry chocolate out of my cold dead hands. One time in college I was getting lunch from an a la carte line. I saw fresh pizza was out so I ordered a slice. Just as I did. One of the student workers brought up an old and sad looking piece that had been sitting for a while but had been reheated. The lady I ordered from grabbed the piece and tried to hand it to me. I paused and said I want not that one. She got mad and yelled it's the same as all the rest I insisted. I got a fresh slice. The slice I got was great. One of the best choices I've ever made. Ro, thanks everyone for the positive votes. And to you kind stranger for popping my gold cherry. It's the little victories in life that make all the difference. When I was young I couldn't figure out how to swallow pills and any liquid medicine would immediately make me puke. When I'd get sick and have a fever my mom would give me a bowl of ice cream with Tylenol crushed up in it. I remember crying because I was being force fed the most disgusting, Tylenol vanilla flavored, ice cream while my mom sat beside me insisting she didn't doctor it. Yes, I can swallow pills now. My mom used to crush up a pill and put it in a spoonful of jam. But I was suspicious because my mom never fed me a random spoonful of jam. Crab meat versus crab meat. Imitation crab meat is just salty cheap fish shaped into a squares. It's nothing like actual fresh crab meat. It has eggs in it too as a binding agent. Crab's cheap but I still think it's pretty good. Apparently when I was working late doing 11 hours shifts. That was the same thing as when my ex went to hang out at the bar until it shut down after she got off work at 10.30pm after a 4 hour shift. Who knew? Yeah, I had one of those. She compared me wanting to get a crown on my tooth to her wanting to get a nose job. That a real job is also a pyramid scheme. No Karen it is not. I don't have to recruit people to make more money like you do. But 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 you make money for your bosses and they make more than you and make more money for their bosses. One time my old girlfriend tried to convince me that ground turkey burgers are basically the same as beef hamburgers. Why not just say, try these, 
you might like them instead of trying to get me to agree with an idea we both know isn't true. While this is true, ground turkey meat makes for some hella good tacos. The documentaries on the History Channel or Home Improvement shows on HGTV are as good as those on PBS. Nope, this old house shows actual work happening. The stuff on HGTV is nonsense. Living off campus and living on campus. My prospective roommate dropped out of school and tried to convince me that an apartment 2 buses and 45 minutes from campus was just as good. Man, even counting costs for living on campus that option was terrible. On the other hand my so and I live in apartment across the street from campus and cost of living is like 40% of what it would cost to live on campus. For just her. Having an idea for a book is not the same as writing a book. No, we're not going to collaborate. If by collaborate you mean I write up your idea into a 90,000 word novel by myself and you try and claim half the profits. Also, if your 6th grade English teacher said you have a natural talent, that's not the same thing as being a talented writer. Service dogs and emotional support animals. Service dogs are task trained to help mitigate a person's disability. They have public access rights and are protected under the ADA. Emotional support animals are just companions that can live in non-pet housing with a doctor's note. They have no public access rights. I have a service dog and deal with this all the time. Margarine for butter. Someone had written on the box I can't believe it's not butter. Whoever wrote that on the box must have been very sadistic. Someone telling me they totally get what being a single parent is like because their spouse travels for work sometimes and she has the two kids for 2-4 days while their dad was gone for work. I'm a single parent. I don't have someone to relieve me after a couple days. This just pee me off. Key command soy sauce with red cap versus key command soy sauce with green cap. Low sodium. It is not the same thing. Unless you eat at a crappy Japanese restaurant in West Georgia where the wait staff fills all the bottles from the same jug of full sodium soy sauce. My parents trying to convince me not to move closer to my job. The rent I pay at my new place is about the same as the rent at my old place. My parents own. Plus the gas I refill every week and the 2 hour commute a day I made. Now my new place is a 5 minute drive or 10 minute walk. For those wondering it looked like this. Old and busted. $500 and $120 gas for car and $36 gym and $100 utilities equals $756. New hotness. $600 and $45 gas and $17 gym and $100 utilities equals $762. Parents logic. Oh it's about the same so why bother? Old and busted. 45 minutes morning 1.5 hours evening. New hotness. 5 minutes morning slash 5 minutes evening. Personal trainer at the gym if you start craving chocolate just eat a Tootsie Roll. It tastes exactly the same. No B. It does not. What a bad trainer lol. Mine told me I can hire a square of 90% a day. But I like sugar. 95% coverage versus totality during the last solar eclipse. I live in Seattle and drove down to Salem, Oregon to catch totality. Trying to explain to people how mind-bogglingly awesome it was proves fruitless when they're like dude it was like 95% coverage here I get it. That's basically the same thing. It was kinda cool. No, it's not even close to the same thing. We had like 75-80% coverage where I live and if I hadn't been told there was supposed to be an eclipse I would never have known. Meats. Just because it's from the same animal, doesn't mean it all tastes the same. If this was the case you wouldn't have pork, ham, sausages, bacon, or even Canadian bacon. True, and calling something steak doesn't mean you should have made a steak out of it. My ex tried to tell me that me saying please stop doing that is the same thing as verbal abuse. I love that one. I had one where I said, I would appreciate it if you didn't put utensils in the side of the sink where the garbage disposal is. When she retold this story, she said I had said, you stupid b when I reminded her of what I actually said and the tone in which I'd said it. She said, well, that's what I heard. My girlfriend is 1000% adamant that pizza and pasta are the same food. To the point where she won't eat one for a few days after having the other. 
literally an uncultured barbarian. There's so much variety. We have restaurants called Cafe Rio and Beijio. They're kind of similar in the way it's set up. Salad and burrito assembly line. Like Chipotle. But they're definitely not the same. The biggest difference is Beijio sucks. I had a couple friends ask where we all wanted to go eat. 5 out of 7 of us said Cafe Rio. The other 2 wanted to go to Beijio. After asking us all. They said. It's just like Cafe Rio. I said. So then why don't we just go to Cafe Rio? It's just like Beijio, isn't it? They didn't know what to say. We went to a steakhouse. My so has tried to argue that our life will not change if we had kids. Haven't proven him wrong yet, but a long-awaited I told you so is in the works. If all you do is sit at home, clean the same thing 20 times a day, can't ever sleep, are always broke, and are an exhibitionist who loves to pee in front of people, then no, not much change. My BF has been trying to convince me since we got together that rice and pasta are the same. One grows naturally and you have to make the other one. When I was growing up I hated pasta sauce. Whatever it was about those small chunks of tomato or onion. I freaking hated it. My parents would always tell me you like pizza. That is tomato sauce. This is tomato sauce. It isn't the same. When I was older my dad got into making his own pizza. And he sent me out to get ingredients. Instead of getting him the pizza sauce I got a jar of ragu. And parroted back his own words when he complained. Edit. He complained about how it doesn't matter what he said. It's what he's saying now and sent me back out for pizza sauce. When I try to explain to someone in Overwatch that quintuple kill was 5 kills not 6. I said he could look it up when we weren't agreeing and he says no because it was a waste of time and he knew he was right. I've made up my mind. Stop trying to confuse me with facts. You need to try our vegan. Enter generic meat dish here. It tastes just like the real thing. Believe me. Vegan food can be delicious. Yes. But stop pretending that it tastes like meat. It doesn't. So, I've heard of plenty of people with kids telling people people with pets it's not the same thing. But my story is the opposite. I don't want kids. Since my fiance and I are both men, it would be pretty hard for us to have one by accident. So I think we're alright. But we have a lot of friends who are starting to say you should have kids. One of them, who has two kids, tried to tell us you have your cat and you love her and take care of her. It's the same thing. No Natasha, it's not the same thing. I'm sure if we left our baby at home alone while we went out to work all day, there'd be a problem. You can train both to crap in a box. My friend tried to convince me a rotary engine in a car is the exact same thing as a jet engine. They're different. Very different. Like the only similarity is the word engine and their name. Even a rotary engine in a plane is not the same as a jet engine. My roommate thinks I'm an idiot for spending $1k on a new mattress instead of just buying a foam mattress topper at Walmart. My mother has gifted me so many basically the same things over the years that I now just tell her don't bother I don't need nor want anything for Christmas birthdays. The amount of useless cheap knockoff electronics I've got sitting in a junk drawer is staggering. Mechanical keyboard comma staples brand membrane keyboard. That she actually was proud of because the salesman said it was better cuz it would be quieter. Loads of cheap cables that failed almost immediately. A good SD card for my Raspberry Pi project comma 8GB no name brand sold at the counter for 8.99 which failed within months. A Tesla t-shirt comma a women's Tesla t-shirt. Basically the same thing. Black work shoes comma black and orange Walmart sneakers which couldn't be less professional. Those are just the first couple. I can absolutely guarantee that if my mother buys me anything as a gift, it will be the cheapest version of basically the same thing. I'd honestly rather she didn't buy it at all if she does that, as the money is essentially just being flushed away. I'd much rather she just gave me the 9.99 she would spend on the gift so that I can use it for bills, or save it to get the part I actually need. Instead she buys the cheapest thing that will almost immediately break if it isn't already incompatible. If she just gave me the cash, I could get something that would actually last and fills my needs. But she's just got to save those pennies by buying garbage that hasn't broken yet. 
Once when I was very small, but small enough to shower bathe on my own. My mom was out and my dad was the only parent home. I took a bath and ran out of shampoo and called out to my dad that I didn't have any. He said to use the bar of soap, because it's the same thing and that's what he uses. Of course I listened my dad and I didn't know any better. My oily disgusting hair let me know, not the same thing. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.